started a new project. This is a basement finish. It's not a very big basement, but it's going to have a bedroom uh, with a walk-in closet and then a full bath and then this big family room that I'm standing in. And so uh, we've gotten started. We've got all the framing done. And uh, so now we're just uh, trying to get our plumber and electrician and heating guys in here. Heating guys are supposed to be here tomorrow. So um, we're going to call this house the Quilt House because it appears that the homeowner either likes quilts or makes them because there's a whole bunch of them on a, on a rack up in the uh, main floor. And so this is the quilt house. It's actually the sister of a basement that we're finishing that we, uh, and we call that basement the reading nook house. And so it's, this is her sister and we're finishing her basement for her as well. So excited to show you the progress on this, show you how we do things, but this is all framed. We've even got all the drops in around the duct work. And um, I'll show you a couple things. We have to do a, a lot of fire blocking when we do framing. So do you see this piece of wood that's right here at the top of the wall? That goes all the way back so that any fire that might start in the wall can't get up behind and get into the floor. So it's really critical because that, that uh, gives the fire guys, the firemen, a lot of time, a lot more time to get here before the fire spreads. Also over here, these pieces of wood that you see right here are for the same reason. These are fire blocking because if a fire started, let's say, in an electrical outlet in the lower part of the wall, it would be contained to this for a certain amount of time before it would spread. And by not by having this block here, it keeps it from going up. And you can see right here, it would just go up and into the floor. And that would be really hard to, a lot harder to fight. And the damage would be much more significant. So when we get an inspection, that's one of the things the inspector is looking for is fire blocking. Also, every 10 feet, we have to do a horizontal fire block. So if there's any gap between these these studs, then the smoke can move laterally. So we put this in and push it back so the smoke can't get behind here. So again, there's one of those about every 10 feet, you can see another one right there. So anyways, just a little education on fire blocking. So we're making progress on this basement. All the electrical is done, all the plumbing is done, all the HVAC stuff is done and we're insulated. And now we've got all the drywall hung and like the first coat of mud is on everything. So this is the big family room right here. And then over here we have a bedroom that's going to be in the basement. So this, so this will be a bedroom here with a, with a walk-in closet. And then we have the bathroom right here. So we put a bigger tub in, a deeper tub. And there'll be a tub shower and a toilet and then the vanity will go right here. And then this is just a space for them to put some shelving. So just some open shelving. So we'll keep you on, uh, up to date on this. The next segment, we probably will have all the finished carpentry done and tile work done and everything. Okay, we're all done with this basement finish. And it's all completed and ready to move in. Inspection's all done and everything. So it's all been cleaned. So it's a small basement. It's a family room. Um a bedroom and a bathroom. And then behind this door is a, uh, the furnace utility room. So that's where the furnace is at. It's all real clean looking because it's all one tone paint, all white. We've hung their TV on the wall for them right here. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. I love the floor. The floor is a nice, nice color. Again, it's the AquaGuard floor that we use. This is uh, the bedroom. And we have a walk-in closet here in the bedroom. And we did some built-in shelves. And here there's another bank of shelves behind the door. And then come check out the bathroom. So it's a unique use of subway tile. And actually, we uh, recently finished our sister's basement. And um, they did the same tile in their bathroom. So this is the same tile that's in her sister's basement on the floor and around the tub shower area. I uh, love the black fixtures. I think they look really nice. It's a nice touch. And the vanity is, she got the vanity. It's a four foot vanity and it's, it's black. It's kind of a, a really dark gray color, but really nice. It's pretty cool. We're waiting on the mirror 
this light fixture just got installed today and obviously she must have forgotten to get lights for us. And so she's waiting to get that light fixture installed so she could figure out what size of mirror she wanted to do. And then we just have open shelves here for storage for linens and towels and stuff like that. We hope you've enjoyed watching us transform this basement from an unfinished basement to a very finished and comfortable basement. I think it turned out great and it's awesome and we sure appreciate you taking time to watch this video and if you like what you see hit the like button below and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already so that we can show you um, all the new videos that we post and then when you hit subscribe hit that little bell and that way we can notify you every time we post a new video thanks for watching have a great day